What factors contribute to the low population density in this region of South Africa compared to other areas of the country? In this video, I will analyze the latest population census data from South Africa and provide insights into why vast areas in the western part of the country are sparsely populated. According to the South African Statistics Department, Census 2022 was the fourth census after the advent of democracy, with the other three being conducted in 1996, 2001, and 2011. This was the first ever digital census in South Africa. The census 2022 result shows that the population of South Africa was 62 million in 2022, increasing from 51.7 million in 2011. This represents an average annual growth rate of 1.8 percent between the two periods which is the largest since 1996. Gauteng remained the province with the highest population 15 million while Northern Cape has the smallest population at 1.3 million. About 56 percent of the country's population lives in three provinces Gauteng, KwaZulu-Nata and the Western Cape. The Western Cape has moved from being the fifth largest province in terms of population size in 1996 to being the third largest in 2022. Black Africans remain the dominant population group 81.4%, followed by color red at 8.2%, whites at 7.3%, and Indians Asians at 2.7%. There has been a steady decline in the proportion of white population from 11% in 1996 to 7.3% in 2022. There are a couple of reasons why South Africa's eastern and southeastern coastal regions are more populated than other areas. The eastern coast enjoys a warmer climate year-round compared to the interior, making it more attractive for settlement. Looking at the vegetation map of South Africa, it clearly shows areas with lush vegetation which are likely to come with favorable weather and in turn attract more people. The low population and sparsely populated areas in dense areas are typically more rural and may include agricultural lands. The western part of the country, including much of the Northern Cape province, shows very low population density, reflecting its arid and semi-arid conditions. A major factor contributed to high or medium population density in certain areas can be economic activities. The regions marked in dark red and deep orange indicate areas of very high population density. These areas include major cities and urban centers such as Johannesburg, Pretoria, and Durban. The coastal regions along the eastern and southeastern part of South Africa, especially around Durban and Port Elizabeth, also shows high population density. Coastal cities like Durban, Port Elizabeth, and East London are hubs for commerce, tourism, and fishing attracting residents with job opportunities. The coast provides easy access to trade routes for historical and modern economies. South Africa has three capital cities and a lot of large urban areas. People naturally are attracted to where there are already other people they can relate to. Major cities attract more people primarily due to abundance of economic opportunities and availability of comprehensive services. Urban areas offer a diverse job market, higher wages, and numerous career advancement possibilities drawing individuals seeking better employment prospects. Additionally, cities often serve as hubs for innovation and entrepreneurship, providing a supportive environment for startups and established businesses alike. This economic vibrancy is a significant pull factor for many individuals and families. Beyond economic factors, major cities provide extensive social services, superior infrastructure, and a higher quality of life. Residents have access to advanced healthcare facilities, quality educational institutions, and efficient public transportation systems. Moreover, cities offer a wide array of cultural, recreational, and entertainment options, contributing to a vibrant and dynamic lifestyle. These amenities and conveniences make urban living attractive, prompting people to move to and settle in major cities. Feel free to contribute in the comment section if you have any other useful information that I haven't included in this video. Thanks for watching and God bless.